Good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, guys, good evening to everyone. Uh, well, the ones that are already here always on time, it's already time for us to start another class. It's eight o'clock. So I'm expecting the other ones to join us while we're, uh, while we're here in the session. So I see more people coming in. Uh, welcome to the ones who just added. Well, Carlos, welcome. <clears throat> I see, I'm expecting the other ones to come here. Let's see. All right, so as usual, guys, as I told you yesterday, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do every single day uh, before we start the class, what we're going to do is that we are going, well, I am going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic, which means that every single day before we start the class, I will always ask you questions regarding to that. So you better be ready for that. Uh, so uh, yesterday we saw vocabulary about transportation, right? And uh, well, so today I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to that, just for me to verify. If some of you were able to understand some things or if some of you <clears throat> remember what was so yesterday. So uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. And so uh, I'm just expecting some more people to join us just to start a little bit. We are, we are six. So thank you so much for the ones that are always on time. That shows part of your responsibility too. I understand that probably some of you work during the day and probably some of you just arrived home and uh, probably you might be a little bit tired because I know some of you probably get out of work uh, late. So that's completely understandable. I understand that. So if you're not coming on time, that's also pretty understandable. So let's see how it goes right now. We're going to have a little practice, guys. Uh, I need you to have pen and pencil. Necesito que todos tengan lápiz y lapicero a la mano. Okay, so we're going to do an activity. Vamos a hacer una actividad la cual me va a permitir a mí verificar qué tanto hemos entendido de los temas que hemos visto hasta ahora. So you let me know when you have pen and pencil. Me lo confirman cuando ya estén listos, lápiz y la, o lapicero, o notebook, o paper, algún papel o something, so you can write something down, ¿ok? I need your confirmation, please. Necesito que me lo confirme whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Ready, ¿ok? We have Rodrigo ready. What about the others? I am ready. I, ready, I'm ready. Okay. Carlos too, I'll we'll see you. Carmen too? Yes. Okay, what yeah, about yeah. Luis, Georgina, and Melissa? Are you ready? Yes. Great, okay, Georgina. Yes, I'm ready. Thank you, okay, Melissa. What about you, Luis? Well, probably you're, you're speaking, but I, I cannot listen to you. It's like, I can see that your microphone is on, but when you talk, I cannot listen to you. Probably a problem with the microphone or probably you're using earphones and your earphones are probably not working. Okay, so the activity guys is going to be the following. What we're going to do is that I'm going to tell you 10 means of transportation in Spanish. What I need you to do is to write those in English, okay? And then when we finished, I need you to take a picture of what you did and send that directly through the WhatsApp group that we have. And please put your name below. Did you understand the instructions? Si entendieron las instrucciones? Yes, teacher. Uh, sería transcribir en, en inglés. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, eh, yo les voy a decir el medio de transporte en Spanish y ustedes lo escriben en inglés. We're going to do 10. Vamos a hacer 10. Then, take a picture. Le toman una, un, una a picture o si lo van a hacer en el teléfono, a screenshot. Y luego, un minuto después, tienen para poderlo enviar al WhatsApp group, al grupo de WhatsApp. Le ponen su nombre abajo, so I can know, para poder verificar quiénes fueron que hicieron la actividad. Please, that's what we're going to do. And, uh, well, I see more people coming in. So, yeah, I see more. Now I can see uh, Claudia. She's here. I know who else. Oh, Rocío, I see you connected twice. Oh, now you're connected just by one. Okay. Claudia, uh, can you listen to me, Claudia? Hello? Hello there, Claudia, can you, well, she's gone. Well, I don't know what happened. Well, okay, so I guess everyone, uh, the others are ready. So I see Christian. So you see Tony now, okay. We're probably going to wait, guys, just a little bit, uh, probably one minute to continue with the, you know, with the activity, because I need everyone to participate on this part. Because remember, uh, hasta el momento, chicos, a ustedes no les he dejado ninguna tarea. So that's the reason why, esta es la razón por la cual vamos a hacer eh, esta actividad. Eh, all right, so Tony and Christian, can you listen to me? Tony, Christian, can you listen? Do you listen to me? Si me escuchan, Christian, Tony. Oh, guys, I really don't know what's going on. Omar, can you listen to me? Omar Ivan? Hello? Chicos, si todos me escuchan, I need someone to confirm that, please. Yes. Ok. Uh, chicos, ustedes o no sé yes. si, si tienen pena a participar o okay. qué. Si de repente veo que no están participando porque son el único grupo que casi no interactúa, les voy a exigir que enciendan su cámara para ver que están ahí. So, uh, please. So, try to... Try to guys, because I don't know if you're there. Estoy creyendo que si están ahí, que si están prestando atención. Remember, this is serious. Este es algo serio. We're here to learn. Estamos acá para aprender, so we're going to try to do our best. So, I need confirmation. Omar, Claudia, Tony, and Christian. You guys, can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Yes, oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por decirlo. Oh, Tony, that's okay. Por eso les digo, es, es, si de repente sus... that's okay. si ustedes no pueden estar completamente en la clase, para eso tenemos el grupo. Usted escribe, usted dice, teacher, no puedo estar completamente en la clase. Salí tarde de trabajar, voy conduciendo, pero voy escuchando la clase. So, we understand, si entendemos. Yo sé que algunos salen de trabajar tarde. And that's completely understandable. Pero los demás sí necesito que estén acá. So, Omar, do you listen to me? Uh, sorry, teacher. I have some troubles with my internet. Oh, it's okay. That's okay. Solo necesitaba saber que estabas ahí. So, Claudia, are you okay? Well, I think a lot of people are here, but that's no. okay. Good. Now, para los que recién entraron, Omar, Christian, and Claudia, vamos a hacer una actividad. Necesito que tengan a la mano papel, lápiz o lapicero we, because we're going to do an activity. Okay. Vamos a hacer una actividad en la cual, eh, bueno, yo voy a verificar eh, si han entendido alguna de las cosas en este caso, yesterday's class, vocabulary about transportation. Les voy a decir 10 cosas en español. Usted las escribe en inglés basado a lo que vimos ayer. Luego tiene un minuto para poder enviar su fotografía con su nombre abajo al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Clear? ¿Sí estamos claros? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Let's go ahead. Yes, teacher. Vamos a empezar. So I need everyone to be ready. So let's go. How do we say, guys? ¿Cómo le llamamos a los transportes terrestres? Es decir, de calle. De la calle. Please, write them down. Escriban eso. Another thing, guys. Please, don't go to Google Translator. No, no espero que se vayan a Google Translator porque si lo han usado me voy a dar cuenta. Google Translator siempre delata a las personas que lo utilizan. So, los maestros sabemos identificar cuándo se utiliza y cuándo no. So, si la sabe, bueno. Si no, ok. La deja en blanco. So, Luis Chavez, I just see that you connected. Are you there, Luis? Yes, teacher. Ok, Luis, we're doing an activity. Estamos haciendo una actividad. I need you to have pen, pencil, and paper. Necesito que tengas papel, lápiz o lapicero. Ready. Eh, no tengo en estos momentos papel y lápiz, teacher. Eh, one moment, please. Ok. All right, so for the others, para los demás. Number two. Number two is going to be, how do we say, um, globo aerostático. Aerostático, how do we say that? Write that down. Globo aerostático. Okay, so I guess that's enough time. Suficiente tiempo. Now let's move on to another one. How do we say uh, carro de la basura? Okay, I think that's enough time. Suficiente tiempo. Okay, we got three already. Ya tenemos tres. Number four. How do we say, uh, let me see, carro de nieve? Carro de nieve. Okay, we got four already. We're going to go with number five. Número cinco. How do we say, bote de pesca? Bote de pesca. Bote de pesca, okay. Now, let's move on to number six. Nos vamos a mover al número six. Tren. How do we say tren? Okay, another one. N number seven. How do we say submarino? Submarino. Okay, number eight. How do we say ambulancia? Ambulancia. Number nine, numero nueve, how do we say tren bala? Tren bala. Okay, and the last one, number 10, how do we say tanque? Tanque.
Okay, that's that's enough. Now, guys, I need you to please take a picture of your paper or whatever you used to write that down. Take a picture and send it through the WhatsApp group. You have one minute. Teacher, yeah. um, excuse me. Can you repeat the number eight, please? Hmm. Let me see. I guess in number eight, I said, uh, let me see, just let me check here. I got it here. I lost it. Okay, I think I lost it. Can someone off of the group? Oh, I receive already. Let me see. Let's just check, uh, Jose, just for as a reminder. Because I forgot exactly that one. Okay, so, oh yeah, Ambulancia. Yeah, that's that was the one. All right, so I receive already. I can see, uh, let me see, let me just check Melissa. I can see Christian. I can see Rocio. I also can see who else? Carmen, it says, so Mario, no, Mario, no, it says Rocio, okay. All right, so let's see. I receive already Carlos too. I also receive, okay, great. All right, so we are, we are 14. Somos 14, incluyéndome, y solo he recibido one, two, three, four, five. Six right now, seven. I receive already Rodrigo, I guess, Georgina. Okay. What about the others? Que hay de los demás? I haven't received George guy. Claudia, I received Claudia already. And I also received Luis Montano. Great. All right, so. That's going to be all. So if you didn't send it, si está teniendo algún problema para enviarlo, let me know, please. So I can know. Because I, I just received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people. Then the others, los demás, I haven't received them. So are you guys having any situation to send it, the picture or something like that? No? Hello, am I talking to myself, guys? Excuse me? <laughs> Sounds like understand. I'm talking to me. Okay, one thing, guys. Si ustedes no entienden lo que estoy diciendo, please, por favor, háganmelo saber. Because okay. it's like I'm talking to myself. Pareciera que estoy hablando yo solo. So let me know, por háganmelo saber. So I will try to slow Okay. Lo voy a hacer, lo voy a decir más despacio, or I can use Spanglish, puedo utilizar Spanglish, but let me know, si no me lo haces saber, I will never know. So I received also Omar, okay, great. So thank you guys, that's going to be all. All right, so those are the only ones that I'm going to receive. Great, thank you very much for your participation, guys. So I'm going to check those later on. And based on what I see, uh, I will see how it's going, okay? So for today, guys, we, um, we're going to see, let's see, tengo problemas with the internet, so voy a cortar. So are you the, si todos me escuchan bien, los demás, are you listening to me okay? Or is it probably cutting off, or se está cortando? Yes. A veces se escucha cortado. Okay, great. Otra cosa, si me escuchan cortado, please let me know too. Háganmelo saber so I can check if my internet is working or not. Because I I'm assume, okay. assumo that if you do not say anything, everything is perfect. So I will assume that. So we're going to start with today's topic, guys, with actually it's going to be the simple present, okay? We're going to start with the simple present today, and I'm pretty sure that some people already know a little bit about it. Okay, so uh, can you see okay, the okay. 
Y pueden ver the presentation. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Class, class number two. Yes. Oh, that's my mistake. Today is class number three, not class number two. So that's my mistake. So, um, well, as it says there, guys. Teacher. Yes. Rocío. Eh, sí, solamente una pregunta. En las primeras dos tuve dificultad. Uh -huh. No recuerdo globo aerostático y transporte terrestre. Puse public transportation, pero no okay. sé. Ok. How do we say, first of all, alguien de tus compañeros, let me see, vamos a preguntarle a. a let me see. Carlos, Carlos Argueta. You there? Yo recuerdo que era hot, hot air balloon. Yeah, correct. Globo aerostático, we say hot air balloon. Balloon. How do we say hot air? Hot air. Lo voy a escribir hot. en el chat. Uh, so you can have it. Hot air balloon. I will write it there so you can you can see it there. Just give me a moment. This thing is stuck. Okay, there you go. I send that through the through the chat. Oh no, I send it to to Elias. No, let me see. I get to to everyone. Everyone. Oh, so a hot air balloon. All right, there we go. Hot air balloon. Now, how do we say, como decimos, transporte de calle o terrestre? Um, I cry, uh, air transport. Mm, okay, but no. try. Es al menos trataste. That's good. But we say road transport. Road transport. Road. Oh, desde ahí ya puede ir viendo cuántas malitas va a tener. Uh, so you can see that. Okay. Okay, thank you. This, this is just a practice. Esta solamente es una práctica for me to verify, pero también vamos a verificar cuántas usted se sabe, cuántas aprendió, and so on. So, uh, you're welcome, Rocio. So we're gonna move on with the press, the simple present or present simple, which is the same thing. Uh, so does any one of you have any idea what I'm talking about? When you listen to the, to the words present simple or simple present, what do you understand? Que entiende? Mm -hmm. um... Or any idea, alguna idea in general? No? I understand. I understand. Uh-huh. Who wants to talk? What's, what's Chris? I, under, I understand that uh, te, simple terms mm -hmm. are... Uh, um, Oraciones. <laughs> Sentences. Eh, eh, de acciones. Uh, of action. Que realizamos, que that, realizamos en el momento. That we're doing in, in the moment. present. Okay. So far, so good. Por hasta el momento. Makes sense. Tiene sentido. So now let's see. The simple present, guys. El presente simple are obviously. Son cosas that we are doing in the present. Cosas que estamos haciendo en el presente, like right now, okay? For example, aquí tenemos how to make positive and negative sentences. Cómo formar acciones o oraciones positivas y negativas. Ya no sabemos los personal pronouns, los pronombres personales. So let me listen Eh, to the pronunciation of the personal pronouns. Necesito que alguien me haga la pronunciación de los pronombres personales. I'm going to pick. Vamos a elegir a Melissa. Melissa, 
Can you please go ahead and make the pronunciation of the personal pronouns, pronombres personales only? Okay. I, we, you, they. Mm -hmm. And these ones? He, she, it. Great. Thank you very much. Now, let me listen to someone else. Vamos a escuchar a otra persona más. Alexander, you there, Alexander? Alexander Elias? Well, he's probably not there. So, Omar. Okay. Ahead, I, Omar. I, we, you, they, he, she, it. Great, that was good. Now, uh, something that I just want to remind you, algo que sí quiero uh, recordarles es que aquí en inglés no decimos you, como nos es, enseñaron quizás en, at school, en la escuela. You, 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 you. No, we don't say that in English. Esta Y se convierte como en una I y decimos you, you. So, you, you please. You. Let's, let's start from there. Vamos a empezar a mejorar our pronunciation. So, we're going to say... I, we, you, they, he, she, it. All right? So for the next time, everyone, so please pay attention to those little details. Now, we're going to see how do we create, como creamos, positive sentences, oraciones positivas in simple present. Simple, simple. Tenemos, first of all, primero, el personal pronoun, pronombre personal, then... Verbo, verb, and then complement. Complemento. Esa es la fórmula. Four positive sentences, okay? So, for example, I can say, I like cheese. We like cheese. You like cheese. They like cheese. So, that's for the positive. Is con estos pronombres, with these pronouns. ¿Cómo le llamamos a estos pronombres, a estos tres? Does anyone of you know how to call them? Tercera persona. We call them third person, correct, Rocío. We call them third person. So what happens with the third person? ¿Qué sucede con la tercera persona for positive, para los positivos? Solamente, only, with third person, el verbo se va a modificar y le vamos a agregar la letra S. S. So, and the pronunciation is going to change. La pronunciación va a cambiar. Why? Because it will be necessary for you to pronunciate the letter S. So, we're going to say, he likes cheese. She likes cheese. It likes cheese. So that's going to be the only difference. Eso va a pasar únicamente third person con todos los verbos. For example, si yo tengo el verbo, if I have the verb, pay. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa el verbo pay? Pagar. 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 So, ¿qué hago? Letter S. Y yo digo pays. Only third person. ¿Qué sucede? Con el verbo study. ¿Qué significa el verbo study? Estudiar. 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 ¿Qué sucede con ese tipo de verbos? Ahí cambia la regla y la regla dice, si el verbo termina sí. en una letra Y precedida por una consonante, yo cambio la letra Y por una I latina y le agrego IS. Es. Entonces me quedaría something like studies. studies. Only, únicamente cuando la letra Y va precedida de una consonante. Porque ¿qué pasa si yo tengo el verbo play? ¿Qué es el verbo play? Jugar o tocar. Jugar, ya. Yeah. Un instrumento. Mm -hmm. Like an instrument, yeah, correct, or play a game or something like that. Now, ¿qué sucede? 
En este caso, si bien termina con Y, but, pero no está precedida de una consonante. It is preceded by a vowel por una vocal. So, what we're going to do in that case, lo que vamos a hacer en ese caso, only add a letter S. Únicamente una letra S. So, we say play, plays. Understood? Estamos claros? Understood? Yes, teacher. Yes. Great. Now, remember, si el, verbo, si, la let, si el verbo termina en Y precedido por vocal, sola, solamente S. Si el verbo termina en Y precedido by a consonant, cambio la, cons, la Y por la Y latina y agrego ES. Ok. That's ok. A, so don't forget that, please. Hay que recordar eso. That, remember, y solamente va a suceder, that is only going to happen with third person, solamente tercera persona. Con estos pronombres de acá, ni por cerca. So, forget them. A este momento, que con esos, no. No, doesn't, doesn't change. El verbo nunca cambia. It stays in the same way. That only going to happen with the third person in positive. Never is going to happen with the negatives. Nunca con los negativos. Ya vamos a llegar ahí. Now, we go with the negatives. Any question, alguna pregunta con los positivos with making sentences, positive sentences so far? No? No. Okay, so uh, I'm going to guess. Voy a suponer. No, it's okay. Está totalmente, completamente entendido. So we're going to move on. Yes. Um, eso es solo cuando las oraciones son negativas en tercera persona o aunque sean positivas en tercera persona. No, 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 no. What I said, la persona siempre se... It's only, solamente sucede con las positivas. Con las negativas, no, ya vamos a llegar a las negativas. Todo lo que acabo de decir solamente sucede con las oraciones positivas tercera persona. Positiva. Es decir, he, she, it. Si usted ve otro pronombre, okay. I, we, you, and they... Ahí usted va a saber que ahí no va a cambiar nada. El verbo se va a poner igual. Exactly. Ok. All right. So we're going to move on to the negatives. Nos movemos a las negativas. So what happens with the negatives? ¿Qué sucede con las negativas? Vamos a tener un auxiliar que va a ser do. El auxiliar do para estos pronombres y el auxiliar das para tercera persona. Do, das. Do, das. Okay? Do, das. That's it. So now, okay. estos pronombres en the negative, vamos a utilizar do not o podemos utilizar eh, let me see, la contracción. Ok. The contraction. Jesus Christ, it doesn't want to work. Ok. You can also say don't. You can say do not or don't. Esa va a ser la contraction. En esta podemos decir, we can say that's not, or we can say doesn't. Okay? Esa va a ser las contracciones que tenemos en inglés. Remember, guys, recuérdese, si usted dice do not or don't, es lo mismo. Something that I want to tell you is that Americans, los americanos, or people that speak English, personas que hablan inglés, they love... Something I want to tell you. Aman utilizar contracciones. So most of the time, la mayoría de veces, no le van a decir do not. Van a decir don't or doesn't. Okay, either or. So, eso lo vamos a usar solo para los negativos. Y vamos a decir, I don't like cheese. Or, I do not like cheese. We don't like cheese. Or, we do not like cheese. You don't like cheese. Or, you do not like cheese. 
they don't like cheese or they do not like cheese. Now, ¿qué pasa con tercera persona? I'm going to use does not or doesn't. He does not or doesn't like cheese. She does not or doesn't like cheese. It does not or doesn't like cheese. Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento. Ahí el verbo no sufriría ninguna modificación, ¿verdad? Como That's las, what I was going to say. Eso eh, va a decirles ahorita. Oh, I'm sorry. El verb, en este caso, el verbo en negativo, aunque esté en tercera persona, no va a cambiar. ¿Sí? El verbo no va a cambiar y lo voy a dejar como es, su forma base. Aunque yo esté hablando en tercera persona, el verbo únicamente se modifica cuando. When it is positive third person, positivo tercera persona. Then, other than that, otro como eso, no. That's the only thing. Now, any question, alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Are we, are we okay? Estamos bien, so far. So far. Cuando les diga, chicos, so far, quiere decir hasta acá o hasta el momento. Y cuando les diga, so far, so good, quiere decir todo bien hasta el momento. So, vamos a ir aprendiendo frases también para que se las vayan memorizing, ¿sí? Practicando. Si usted escucha que yo digo so far, hasta aquí. O si yo digo so far, so good, por ahora todo bien. All right, so we're going to move on then because I guess there's no questions. Creo que no hay preguntas. So, um, no. la manera en la que voy a estar verificando si en realidad he entendido eh, voy a pensarlo bien si les voy a estar haciendo cada día una mini evaluación. Puesto el hecho que veo que no preguntan mucho, so yo asumo que todo está bien. Entonces, para verificar que todo fue entendible, vamos a hacer esas mini evaluaciones pretty much every day. Georgina. Eh, ¿Cómo se escribe so far so good? Good question. Okay, we, we say that. Let me write it here. Let's escribe it acá. We say so far. Good. Like that. All right. Thank you. If there's no any other question, we're going to move on. Vamos a mover to the next part. So what is the next part about? The next part is going to be about some examples. So uh, I will need uh, some help here. Voy a necesitar la ayuda de Luis Montalvo. Go ahead, Luis. Help me reading this part, esta parte. The first part, this part right here. Luis, go ahead. I, I cannot listen to you. No, no, no te escucho. Veo que tienes el micrófono on. I see that you have the microphone on, but I cannot listen to you. Probably, probablemente sea algo with your microphone. So it's okay. Don't worry. So le vamos a preguntar. Ahora sí. Oh, you say something? Well, I don't know if you were talking or not. So we're gonna ask two. Le vamos a preguntar a Andrea. Andrea, can you help me please, Andrea? Good afternoon, teacher. A bit. Wow. You said we use the present simple to talk about things we, we do all of the time. Great. Examples. No, we, we stop it there. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, another thing, guys. Cada vez que les escuche alguna pronunciación, se las voy a corregir para que todos presten atención. So here, and this word, el verbo talk. No lo decimos talk. 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 La letra R nunca la, la letra L nunca la vamos a pronunciar. Y la letra A no se va a pronunciar como A, sino como O. Entonces decimos talk, talk, 
So we say we use the symbol, the present simple to talk about things we do all the time. Another thing, otra cosa, chicos. La mayoría de veces cuando vean una palabra que empieza con TH, el sonido que vamos a hacer en pronunciation es letra Z de nuestro español. Solo el sonidito. We say things. Things. Ok. Por favor, hay que empezar a trabajar en eso. Carmen, you have a question? Teacher, la pronunciación de las primeras palabras. Uh, which ones? This one? No, la, donde empieza la oración. Oh, we, here. Aquí, we, oh. Es, oh, we, como, you, we you house, use. así. We you. house. Use. Use, yeah. We use, yes. usar, we use the present simple to talk about things we do all the time. Now, habits, ¿ok? La mayoría de ocasiones la letra H se va a pronunciar como J, habits. So we say, we're going to start with examples, los ejemplos, y voy a necesitar la ayuda de Omar para la número uno. Let's see, uh, Carlos Argueta, number two, Rodrigo José, number three, and let me see, Tony Omar, number four. So go ahead, please. Okay, examples. I get the service bus at seven every morning. Great, that was a good pronunciation. Let's go with number two. Number two. John brushes his mm -hmm. teeth before he goes to bed. Great, that was also good pronunciation. Number, th number three. I play football at break time. Great, that was also good. Number four. Number four. Who got number four, guys? Well, volunteer then. Any volunteer for number four? Me. My, Andrea. my Andrea. sister, my sister goes sailing on weekend. Great, that was also good pronunciation, Andrea. Thank you very much. Now, what we're saying here basically is that every single time that we want to talk about a habit, cuando queremos hablar de un hábito, we are going to use a simple present. Vamos a utilizar el simple present. So as you can see, si se fijan acá. We have, uh, we have some uh, changes here. Aquí, we modify the verb. Se modificó el verbo aquí. ¿Por qué? We have John. Y John lo podemos sustituir por qué pronombre? He. He, exactly. Thank you, Rocío. What about my sister? ¿Por qué pronombre lo podemos sustituir? She. She, correct. Thank you, Rocío, once again. So as you can see here, we that's the reason why we modify the verb. Por eso modificamos el verbo here. And you can see some changes. We're going to see, vamos a ver algunas reglas más adelante so you can understand a little bit better. So we're going to move on then. And here, things that are always true. Cuando queramos hablar acerca de cosas que siempre son verdad, we are going to use the simple present. For example, we have some examples here and I will need uh, Georgina, number one, uh, Melissa, number two. Let me see, Carmen Garcia, number three, Carlos Argueta, number four, Christian, number five. And the last one is going to be for Luis Chavez. Go ahead, please. Number one. The sky is blue. Excellent, Georgina. The sky is blue. El cielo es azul. So that's a fact. Es un hecho. Only, of course, at night, 
in la noche that we see it in a different color, right? But during the day, we can see it only blue. That's it. So number two. The air goes around the sun. Great, that was good pronunciation, Melissa. What about number three? I am a student. Good, thank you, Carmen. What about number four? <clears throat> she is on the Asian side of the Istanbul. Of Istanbul, great. What about the next one, number five? Tigers are big cats. Great, and the last one? The last one? I, I think a school no. star mm -hmm. at A, A5 and, and finishes as 30, At, at 3.30 p.m. Ok. Uh, no, no sé si se recuerdan o en el módulo 1 les explicaron que los americanos no dicen zero. En este caso, oh. es decir, las 8 y 5, ellos le van a decir 8 o 5. La, la letra, el número 0 no lo van a decir zero. No van a decir zero o 5. Se van a decir O, como la letra O. 8 o 5. Ok. So just for you to know, solo para refrescarles un poquito ahí. So let's move on to the next part. Y aquí tenemos las reglas. Please pay attention to this. Prestar atención. Ya más o menos les di una introduction at the beginning. So we're going to move on to these, which are the real rules. La regla dice, chicos, para modificar el verbo en tercera persona, porque si en tercera persona lo modifico, right? O lo puedo modificar si yo estoy usando el pronombre we. ¿Can I? No. Solo no. no. en tercera. I can. Only third person. So, si el verbo termina en ch, s, sh, o, x, si termina en alguna de esas letras, ¿qué es lo que voy a hacer? Agregarle es, only, y repito una vez más, Only third person. Solo tercera persona. Ok. Example. Watch. ¿Qué significa el verbo watch? No, ver. Ver. Correct. We say ver, but cosas electrónicas. For example, television, computer, uh, things like that. You know? Watch. Watches. Guess. ¿Qué significa el verbo guess? Adivinar. Suponer. We have the verb supo Supon suponer. Ok, suponer. Guess. Guesses. Finish. ¿Qué significa el verbo finish? Finalizar. Finalizar o terminar. Finish. Finishes. El verbo go. Ir. Ir. Go. Goes. El verbo fix. Arreglar. Arreglar. So fix. Reparar. Arreglar o reparar, which is the same thing. Fix. Fixes. Ok. Y esta es la regla que les dije anteriormente. Si las, if the verb, si el verbo termina en letter Y, preceded by a consonant, We change the letter I for a letter Y, uh, the Y for a letter I, I'm sorry, and we add ES. So study, studies, carry, carries, fly, flies, okay? Those are rules that we need to remember only for third person. Is there any question so far? So far, so good. Yes or no? So far, so good. Great. Thank you, Melissa. So far, so good. Great. Thank you, Carlos. Now, let's see. Vamos a ver. We're going to do some practice right now, and we're going to try to verify. 
So in this practice, what we're going to do, guys, encontrar los errores. So, nos vamos a ir a la práctica, take a screenshot, tomar captura or a photo, whatever. See, you let me know, me lo hacen saber, please. When you're ready, so I can move to number two. Ready? Well, I'm going to move to number two then. Yes, ready. Number two. And this is number three. What are you going to do there? ¿Qué van a hacer ahí? Use simple present. Utilizar el simple present con el verbo between parentheses. That's it. That's the only thing that you're going to do. So I will stop sharing and we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a trabajar. ¿Puede poner la número tres, por favor? Yeah, oh. sure. Let me see, here you have. You, you don't see it? Yes, yes. Okay, good. All right. So we're gonna go, please go ahead and join your rooms. Yeah. 
Y ahí solo tendría que ser go. Um, se refiere a ellos, sí. Uh -huh. Alex, habría que quitarle ES. Uh -huh. My friends uh -huh. go on holiday next week. Uh -huh. eh, de, de tercera. Eh, y, y hay que quitarle la Y y, y ponerle I. Y ES. My friends go on holiday Goes next week. On holidays. Que no es holiday con doble L. Holiday. Holiday next week. Quiero ver, creo que es holiday, holiday. Uh -huh. Sí, creo que sí. She calls her little sister. To the car in the morning. ¿Y por qué el verbo está bien? Se le tiene que agregar una S. ¿A, ¿A cuál? Holidays. Holidays. La palabra holidays. Ah, holidays. sí, cierto. Tiene uh -huh. que agregar una S y después de la I griega porque termina con una vocal. Ok. La otra, she carries her little. Her little sister to the car in the morning. La S está mal allí. ¿Cuál? Espera, quiero ver. The carries. 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 Ah, sí es cierto. Tiene que poner una I latina. Ah, ok, ok. Lot of film, films. Lot of films. Creo que... No, Carmen, uh, I closed it. Yo cerré los grupos. Yeah, no, pero it. tuve que volver a ingresar a la, a la... Oh, okay. Pro probably something happened there. So now we're just gonna wait for for the others just to verify if they were able to complete the exercises or no. So I see the majority is coming back. All right, guys. I see that the majority is already here right now. So uh, did you complete the exercises? Did you complete the exercises? No, teacher. Nos faltaron dos. Two. Okay. So in that case, uh, I will need you to, les voy a dejar de tarea el número tres, que sería la última captura, el número tres, for tomorrow, okay? Para mañana. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. Esa es la primera cosa que vamos a hacer. Now, well, because of the time, we have enough time, guys, actually. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending to the class today. I hope to see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So have a good night, you all. Bye-bye.
Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Good night.